Greetings comrades, today we are going to solve one of the greatest mysteries of our time. What happened in the Bermuda Triangle? Is the Loch Ness Monster real? Who is the Somerton Man? And even why do sucks disappear? All these questions pale into insignificance when you compare them to the eternal question of why we had this goddamn window between the kitchen and the bathroom in Soviet apartment buildings. Why? Just why? And today I will tell you why. Soviet apartments in five-story and other panel buildings have always been far from ideal. They were built in order to resettle Soviet citizens into separate apartments, and there was no time to think about their comfort. But some decisions of the planners really just blow my mind. For example, the decision to make a window between a kitchen and a bathroom in all Khrushchevkas. In every single one of them. Why? I'll tell you even more. I was born in a house that was built in the 50s. It had a separate bathroom and a toilet. And guess what? Yes, you already guessed it. It had a window between a toilet and a bathroom. And if you also consider that initially it was a communal apartment, yeah. In general, today we will talk about all the possible explanations for this phenomenon. And by the way, there are six different versions of why this window was actually needed. But I can cross out one reason right away. I can assure you that this window was not specifically designed for a personal KGB agent who was supposed to watch you take in a shower. No, definitely not. There was still some privacy in the Soviet Union. Here are six possible explanations for this innovative architectural design. And let's start right away with the first and obvious one. Lighting the bathroom and saving electricity. The Soviet leaders knew a lot about saving money. Saving money is basically the second name of Khrushchevka. Want to go to the bathroom during the daytime? So why would you need to turn on the lights and waste precious electricity? Here's some daylight from the kitchen window, should be enough for you. Some people will say, yo, energy saving from just one light bulb in the bathroom. But remember that back in those days entire neighborhoods, sometimes entire cities were built in record times. If the whole neighborhood will use a little less electricity, it's already a significant saving for the country. In addition, in those years, accidents with power outages were quite frequent, and the window allowed Soviet people to manage without light during the day. Or maybe you just want to create a cozy and intimate atmosphere in your bathroom. Rose petals, champagne, dim light from the kitchen window. Just think of the possibilities. Here comes the second explanation – compliance with sanitary norms. There were rather strict standards for residential buildings in the USSR, including those for insulation. The fact is that in the 50s and the 60s the Soviet Union was actively fighting tuberculosis. But the ventilation systems in those new Soviet houses were not very good and the bathroom environment provided ideal conditions for bacteria. In order to prevent mycobacterium tuberculosis from reproducing, and as you know it reproduces very quickly in a humid environment, they created this window in Soviet houses. True, in order to fight against tuberculosis it would be good to provide direct sunlight, rather than blocked by at least two panes of glass. But that is what it is. Don't know about tuberculosis, but I must admit that this window really helped against the accumulated steam and mold in conditions of poor ventilation. The third explanation can also be associated with healthcare. A large part of domestic accidents occurs in the bathroom. Slippery floor, water and minimal room for maneuvering can cause injuries. If a person is locked from the inside, it is much easier to help him by breaking a window from the kitchen than by breaking the door. Especially when you consider that doors in Soviet bathrooms opened outwards and were quite heavy. By the way, here's an interesting fact. In Mikhail Bulgakov's Heart of a Dog, the former dog Sharikov locked himself in the bathroom and he had to be rescued through the same window from the kitchen. Recall that the novel takes place in the 1920s, which means that this ingenious design idea of the window between the kitchen and the bathroom was not in fact an invention of Soviet architects, 
but existed in Russia even before the revolution. However, at that time it could be actually easily explained. Not all houses had electricity, and lighting a candle or a lamp every time you decided to visit a bathroom could be a very tedious process. The fourth explanation is also about some kind of a rescue, albeit a more serious one. There is a version that this window was created as a tool to minimize the consequences of certain incidents. In Soviet times, those apartments were equipped with gas boilers for water heating. A gas leak or careless handling led to disastrous consequences. Hence the myth that in case of an accident, a powerful wave will pass through the window, thereby preserving the wall between the kitchen and the bathroom. Don't know if it's true, actually, the wall always seemed to me to be kinda thin, so the window probably won't be able to save it. Explanation number 5. The window was necessary in order to somehow visually expand the space of the bathrooms of Khrushchevkas. As you know, they were quite tiny, and one option to expand the space of a room has always been the installation of windows. Perhaps this helped people with claustrophobia to take a bath. However, I don't really believe it. A Soviet person cannot be claustrophobic. He can only have an endless love for the party and the leader. No fears allowed. No fear. Explanation number 6. This window was really helpful for residents of the communal apartments. The thing is that you could have several families at once in such apartments, and there was only one bathroom. As a result, this window could save you some time. You could immediately see from the kitchen whether the bathroom was occupied or not. No need to go there, pull the handle and shout through the door to be allowed in. Finally, it was possible to spy on the neighbors through that window. Yes, peeking in on that very pretty communal roommate. But don't take this the wrong way. You just had to make sure that God forbid she was not using your soap. Soap, by the way, costs a lot of money. In general, today we have witnessed the absolute genius of Soviet architects once again. Not a useless stupid window, no. A tool against bacteria, mold, steam, overconsumption of electricity, claustrophobia and accidents. By the way, if you still live in Khrushchevka, then do not rush to board up the window. Interior designers suggest instead to decorate it in a modern style and use it. Or make a decorative element out of it, an additional shell for example or even put a vent hood in there for some extra ventilation. Or, of course, you can still use it in the old-fashioned way and spy on your roommates if you live with someone. Just be careful, you know? Some things cannot be unseen.